bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Lulukoya. You are most warmly welcome to the Revival Hour. An hour for those who have dogged determination to make heaven. An hour for those who want the power of God to touch their lives. An hour for those who want to move in a new way in the realm of the Spirit. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another revival hour. We thank you for your grace, your love, your might and power. We thank you for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. And we thank you for your name which is above all names. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered before you, open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us by the power of the God of Elijah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Today in our revival hour, we are going to listen to this message which has blessed many lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. We are looking at the anointing. Many of us have heard people talking about anointing, anointing, anointing. Many are very vague understanding of what the anointing means. Many just repeat those words because others are saying it. But they've never really sat down to think, this anointing, what exactly is it? And so the question before us to answer this lecture is, what is anointing? When we say the anointing, what is the anointing? That is what this lecture is supposed to answer. The memory verse. It's in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Brothers, can I hear you? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. Because of that anointing upon him, he now went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of them. For God was with him. So straight away in our memory verse, you find that the anointing is needed to do good. The anointing is needed to perform healing miracles. The anointing is needed to set at liberty all who were oppressed of the devil. So you can see that the anointing there is being introduced to us, describing what it could do. And it's important that we understand this very clearly. In Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, we see a very key verse in these teachings. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Let's open our Bibles there. And if you are there, you say yes. Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of what? because of the anointing the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing keep Isaiah 10 27 at the back of your mind let's look at our introduction and our outline anointing is a word that has been terribly misused the word anointing has suffered so much. That's why you find somebody said, uh, somebody will be saying, I was under heavy anointing. Heavy anointing was upon somebody. Most of what people call anointing these days is merely a measure of spiritual, mental, or emotional experience. What most Pentecostal preachers call anointing can be called quickening. Quickening. Quickening you. Our old Pentecostal fathers, they call anointing authority of ease. That is, authority to perform with ease. It is that the anointing that makes that difference. 
they have nothing to differentiate the Christian faith from other religions. Once you know the anointing, you will never remain the same. You cannot live without it once it has rested upon you. I decree upon somebody here tonight that that anointing that breaketh every yoke shall come upon you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> The anointing envelope, it permits, it electrifies, it empowers. Anointing is not taught, but it is received. Nobody can teach you the anointing. You have to receive it. The anointing is real. You can feel it just like you feel electricity. The anointing is not a skill which people learn. It is not a talent which one may inherit. Neither it is a natural ability or oratory or external show or mimicking the preaching style of voice or a consistent position of authority or shouting and screaming or good speaking techniques or good education. The Almighty is a central message in the Bible. The Almighty opens doors that have long been shut and makes a man to succeed where others are failing. Now listen to this. Every believer who desires to excel in life and ministry is supposed to deeply study, understand, and receive the anointing. And so I speak unto your life, receive the anointing now in the name of <laughs> Let that amen roll like thunder. Every believer requires the anointing for sustenance performance, success, breakthroughs, and fulfillment. One success in the ministry depends every day on the Holy Spirit anointing. Several years back, there was a brother. His name was Asomono. Asomono gave his life to the Lord when missionaries came to their village. And he genuinely wanted to serve the Lord. He came to every service. He was there at every prayer meeting. One day they brought a visiting preacher who began to talk about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the anointing. He led the people into prayers. And as he led them into prayer, as someone who was the first person that day to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and began to speak in tongues, a lot of other people received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And Somono decided to become a man of God. So he went to the white missionaries. I said, I want to become a minister of God. The white missionaries shook their heads. They said, Asomono, just be coming to church. Don't worry. You can't, you cannot become one. Why did they turn him bad? As Somono was a stark illiterate. Could not read, he could not write. And yet, he wants to be a minister of God. The missionaries were running Bible colleges. But Asomono could not attend because he cannot read it, could not read it, could not write. He was very sad that he could not read, he could not write. But he did not allow that to discourage him. He was coming. He was coming. He was coming. And you see, each service you come, each prayer meeting you go to, Adds a measure of anointing to your life. Each baptism of the Holy Ghost you receive, the when you receive the initial baptism of the Holy Ghost, you are supposed to receive fresh feeling, fresh feeling, fresh feeling. Those fresh ones you receive, they add to the bank of anointing upon your life. So as someone kept coming, one day a woman missionary arrived, and he saw the zeal of Asomono, and she decided. That whatsoever it was going to cost her, she would teach Asomono how to read or write. So she started teaching Asomono, who is already over 30 years old. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Asomono, read after me. As soon as we read A, B, C, D, the woman now keeps quiet. As soon as we 
Repeat what I've said. D. B. C. A. He was unable to even say after the woman. After the woman has kept quiet and left on his own, he was useless. A white woman tried for months to just teach from A, B to D, C. For months, they could not get beyond D. So the white woman gave up. Gave up. I said, what? I said, man, God will help you. And life continued like that. Until one day, something happened. All of a sudden, the whole of the city and surrounding villages were in disarray. Plenty of noise. Boah! Noise! All over the place. The noise got to the Bible college. It got to church. And they, they came and told the missionaries. There is a lot of uproar in the city. Uproar in the city. Uproar in the city. Uproar in the city. at the front of the palace crowd at the marketplace screaming uncontrollably shouting and shouting and the missionaries go there say what's the matter why is brother someone they say he's there he's there he's there and they went there they broke through the crowd to a someone only to find a someone sitting down there eating corn <laughs> so a someone what's the matter why is there all this noise? What has happened here? Before the crusade, before the missionaries could say anything, the villagers have carried as someone up with the corn that he was eating and they were shouting his name. So put him down, put him down. What is the matter? The someone said, There's no problem. So they came to the market. And when he came to the market, as he was buying something, so a madman pulled his clothes. So he, he now look at the madman. So as he looked at the madman, he said, Pastor, do you know that electric current that we used to feel in church by breath inside the body? I just feel that feeling on my body. Then I laid my hands upon the madman. And I said, Be healed. And he was healed. So that's all. So but when I was praying for him, I did not know that that madman was the only son of the king. The king had no other children. He had one son, and the son is mad. So this is what is causing uh, uproar. Beginning from that day, the anointing that was upon Asomo that caused that to happen changed his entire life, changed the life of other people. Whether he was educated or not does not matter, because that anointing was upon him. I'm praying for somebody here. That the anointing that will cause your celebration will come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Let your amen roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus. What is the anointing? From the scriptures we've read, especially from Isaiah 10 27, it says, And it shall come to pass. In that day, that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. The body shall be taken away, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So, the, the simplest definition of the anointing the anointing is the body removing and yoke breaking power of God. Body removing. And the yoke breaking power of God. When there is a body in place and there is a yoke in place, the anointing is the only thing that can break that yoke, that can destroy the body. That is the power of the anointing. When the anointing comes from other man, he is no longer an ordinary person. This is why the Bible wants seriously. So, Touch not my anointing and do my purpose. No harm. So the people you cannot touch, you cannot touch them and then they just go scot free. They are anointed. So, so don't touch them. Any touch of the anointing, you touch the anointed, 
there will be violence from heaven against whoever is doing such things. That's why I'm still praying for you tonight. That the anointing that will make you to be celebrated will come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Let the amen be loud and clear. Now look at this outline. The anointing is to be Godded with God and Christed with Christ. You are Godded with God. You are Christed with Christ. That is, as you are moving about, that was of scripture is happening in your life. He says, I say unto you, is it not written in your law that ye are God? Is it not written in your law that ye are God? That is, each of us, everybody who is a Christian, you are supposed to be a small, small God. Small, small God. Small, small God. To demonstrate power as small, small God. And by the time you really look at this life, the major battles we fight is battle between gods. It's battle between gods. So when you are a small god and you demonstrate that power like Jesus, you become completely untouchable. And nothing is to be godded with God and Christed with Christ. Godded with God, Christed with Christ, become little gods, little Jesus. The Bible says, Jesus is the King of Kings. Jesus is the Lord of Lords. Have you ever wondered? It said, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Have you ever wondered? Who are those other kings? Who are those other lords? It is you and I. You and I. We are supposed to operate like that. A man is helpless and weak without that anointing. The reason the enemy is embarrassing many of us is because of the anointing that is not there. That is why when the time comes to pray tonight, pray that some prayers. One prayer point can cover 2,000 prayer points. If you pray here tonight and the anointing to terrify the enemy, the anointing to possess your possession, the anointing to have creative ideas, the anointing to pursue the pursuers comes upon you. Then there's another place you don't need anymore. Once that anointing comes upon you. Samson, many who read the story of Samson, they think he's a huge muscular man. You know, some of the pictures you see, they draw Samson as a huge muscular person. Oh, oh he's a normal person. No big muscle, no big leg. He's ordinary. That's what he himself was telling them. So if you do this, I become an ordinary man. If you do this, I become an ordinary man. We look ordinary like them. But what happens is this. Anytime you read, and the Spirit of God came upon Samson, at that level, he has become another person. May you become another man. May you become another person. We see that anointing now. In the name of Jesus. A servant for the man. One of my favorite ministers, as I respect a lot, is one man called Smith Wigglesworth. I admire Smith Wigglesworth. He didn't go to school. In fact, the Bible he could read was the wife that taught him how to read it. But although he didn't go to school, he had the anointing. And it is the anointing that makes the difference. If you are a minister of God, without the anointing, you will have annoyance. And without that anointing, you will be pursued to your grave by poverty. So more than any other thing, all ministers should seek the anointing. Not seek to be running after some particular people. Not to be running after people to do commercial IBG. No, that will get you much. Not commercial prophecy. What you need is this anointing we're talking about. Smithukus was the first time in his life they invited him to a major Pentecostal church in America. They are all enlightened church, a church of very enlightened, educated people. So they invited Uguswa to come and minister there. The first day he began to minister, they were very angry. They didn't like it at all. Because we do respect. 
the English, spoken English of Google Word is seriously chaotic. It just makes mistake anyhow. Pick this sentence, merge it to that is chaotic. The English were wrong and he was speaking in an enlightened church. They were angry. Some of them wanted to leave the meeting. Some even stood up to leave because the English was bad, the accent was bad. Although it doesn't preach long messages, the few you will say, the grammar will be wrong. So he started talking. They got angry. All of a sudden, we go swords, stop the sermon and prayed a short prayer. That's short prayer. After the short prayer, he invited those who were sitting on the wheelchair to come to the altar. They stand up. Come here. They jumped up and ran to the altar. The meeting became chaotic. Only chaos now fell. He could not even finish the sermon again. Those who wanted to go home, they sat back. By the next day, the place was full. They told them, so, but you said he's speaking bad English. So, leave him. Leave him. Those who were speaking grammar, every year here, they have been talking the grammar, talking the grammar. Nothing has happened in this place. This man, this man, five minutes. Look at what has happened now. That is what the anointing does. May you receive that anointing in Jesus' name. Light your amen, who are like thunder. We're talking about the anointing. The great apostle Joseph Babala arrived at a city, a demonic city in the western part of Nigeria. He was there for just three days. Three days. Within those three days, he closed down all the workshop of the native doctors. Within those three days, people brought their juju, their magic to church. They were piling it up. Piling it up. The pile of the juju was so high, the height was higher than the church itself. And it was burning them. Burning them. Burning them. Burning them. Three days. But there has been a white missionary who has been ministering in that place for 17 years. After these three days crusade, the white man came to Apostle Joseph Alvala and said, Brother Joseph, so you have done in three days what we could not do in 17 years. That is the anointing. So if there is anyone here who wants to move to a level where the enemy cannot reach you again, you want to move to a level where your ego is so, so high that it is not possible to bring it down again. And you need this thing we are talking about. You need the anointing. Right there where you are, receive that anointing now. Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Allow the man. Number three, the anointing is the performing hands of God. The anointing is divine energy, divine force, divine push, divine power. The anointing is the blazing fire of the Holy Spirit. The anointing is the performer of divine counsel. The anointing is that which makes spiritual work easier. That's why our olden days Pentecostal Father calls it the authority of ease. The anointing is that which changes one into a different person. The anointing is spiritual ritual for enthronement. The anointing is power to do what God has called you to do. The anointing is to be robbed, painted, smeared by the Holy Ghost. Robbed. Painted, smeared by the Holy Ghost. The anointing is that which provides empowerment for miracles and divine operation. The anointing is God's provision for overcoming all spiritual deficiency. The anointing is His grace of God upon one to carry out a specific task. The anointing is heavenly lubricant poured upon a man to make the heavenly task committed unto him smooth. Easy flowing 
without friction or struggle without friction or struggle i'm praying for somebody here the yoke of struggle the yoke and burden of the struggling man struggling woman receive the anointing that will break it now in the name of jesus god bless you in jesus name if you are here in this program i am not born again you have not just surrendered your life to jesus i want to give you that opportunity now right there where you are just bow down your head say father in the name of jesus i come before you now lord jesus come into my life take control of my life in jesus name amen for said that short prayer with me i'm going to pray with you father let your anointing be upon your children who have surrendered their lives to you today write their names in the book of life lay your hands upon them let the decision they've made today be permanent in their lives in jesus name we pray amen amen we are going to start praying now pray from your heart powers assigned to convert my right hand to my left hand die in the name of jesus Powers assigned to convert my right hand to my left hand. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to convert my right hand to my left hand. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to convert my right hand to my left hand. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to convert my right hand to my left hand. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to convert my right hand to my left hand. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to convert my right hand to my left hand. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to convert my right hand to my left hand. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every battle of the blood wage against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle of the blood wage against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle of the blood wage against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle of the blood wage against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle of the blood wage against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle of the blood wage against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle of the blood wage against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Every battle of the blood wage against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Jesus name we pray amen so every instrument of battle prepared for me by the enemy backfire in the name of Jesus every instrument of battle prepared for me by the enemy backfire in the name of Jesus every instrument of battle prepared for me by the enemy backfire in the name of Jesus every instrument of battle prepared for me by the enemy backfire in the name of Jesus backfire in the name of Jesus backfire in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen declare this ten times ten times say return unto thy rest O my soul Return unto thy rest, O my soul. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this now loud and clear. Powers preparing death for me. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers preparing death for me. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers preparing death for me. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers preparing death for me. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers preparing death for me. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers preparing death for me. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise. I'm put to shame every power loving me to scorn. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and, and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and put to shame every power, laughing me to scorn in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, oh God, arise and expose every enemy hiding in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and expose every enemy hiding in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and expose every enemy hiding in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and expose every enemy hiding in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and expose every enemy hiding in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and expose every enemy hiding in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and expose every enemy hiding in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. On task of my virtue, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers are assigned to punish me. I subdue you today in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to punish me. I subdue you today in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to punish me. I subdue you today in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to punish me. I subdue you today in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to punish me. I subdue you today in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to punish me. I subdue you today in the name of Jesus. I subdue you today in the name of Jesus. I subdue you today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say anything I've eaten or swallowed. Physically or spiritually, that is troubling my body. Melt away in the name of Jesus. Anything I've eaten or swallowed, physically or spiritually, that is troubling my body. Melt away, melt away, melt away, melt away in the name of Jesus. Melt away in the name of Jesus. Melt away in the name of Jesus. Melt away, melt away, melt away, melt away in the name of Jesus. Melt away, melt away, melt away, melt away in the name of Jesus. Melt away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.